Alrighty, let's do this thing. Seaman Studio. Oh, that's nice. Save early, save often. <laughs> yes, thank you. Just make sure you don't, you know, save when there's a timer going down and then save again and the timer has continued counting down and you haven't even noticed. That's happened to me before. Ooh. Statistics. Animated FOV transitions. <laughs> I have no idea what that means. Wait, why can't I adjust this? Okay, that's weird. Volume down? <laughs> no. Uh, okay, this is very weird. Invert horizontal always. Language. Ah, no Dutch. Yes, sure. Mode. Okay, but why can't I? But what? Okay, I'm very confused. Why won't it allow me to change the volume? <laughs> okay, then I guess we'll just. Play using these settings. Alrighty. Again. <laughs> Ghost of a Tail. Let's go. In the beginning was the green flame, a force without conscience, consuming all in its path. The creatures of the world fought back, but one by one they fell, only to rise again as puppets of the emerald fire. It was the rats alone who stood and fought, until at last, at Periclave, the green flame was extinguished. This sounds very familiar to um, Potkin One Air. Mera, Mera, where are you? No, oh, it's not voice acted. Hi, <laughs> right off the bat, some mushrooms. Your health is low. Yes, eat some mushrooms. Oh. No, wait. Eastern, you can also find information about quests and lore. Simple belt, 
made of rope. And it's just a rope then. Your humble minstrel's hood. A sour apple. Sure, eat the mushrooms. Nothing ever goes wrong when you eat mushrooms. Ah, my Facebook. Minstrel. The garb of a minstrel is simple, yet not austere. The hood was crafted by your own paw under the guidance of your master. Every minstrel is required by their guild to wear. A minstrel hood, a rope belt. Wow. Those are some limiting uh, clothes restrictions. <laughs> Wait. Did my infant son make this or <laughs> does it actually look I have an infant son. Okay. I guess this is post dating sim. <laughs> It is empty. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Who cares? Just take the pot. Ooh, a piece of still bread. And more mushrooms. I just ignore the mysterious message. Flowers for Mera. You stood before the Baron, your wife Mera, at your side. He hit you. He bit you. Play the poisoned cup, and you knew that then this was not for his amusement, but a test. And so play you did. But from Mera, there was only silence and a look of such defiance. Ooh, it rhymes. I like it. He moved to strike her, the Baron, and you cried. Uh, you cried out and went to her. And then darkness. Unbroken darkness. How many days have passed since then? In your heart, you know she's still alive and that you'll one day find her. Until then, all you have are these flowers, your memories of her, and a question. Why? Oh, so dramatic. Meet me at the top of the watchtower. Cover your tracks and move unseen. S. Yoink, selkie. A selkie appeared. Don't trust him. There's no time to sleep, please. You don't feel tired. Look how cute he is. Ah, okay. <laughs> nope, nope. Ah, jump. Wait. Jumping costs health. <laughs> Brown, it's still ever colorful, tough, and sour like the farms that grow it. <laughs> Made of potatoes and chalk, the pauper's loaf will leave one's stomach feeling full, whilst providing almost no nutritional value. <laughs> What's the point? That's... Yes. A stale hunk of bread. <laughs> oh, I can't even explain why that's so funny to me.
mocking cap mushrooms are edible for mice but can have a powerful hysterical effect on other creatures. Okay. Just eat that. Oh wow. They actually made it look like one of those old books. That's so cool. The maiden wouldn't sing. The tale of a minstrel and a maiden, both imprisoned by a cruel baron for refusing to perform. Sing the poisoned cup, for to bear it, I to hear it, I demand. Bark the baron from his throne to the maiden down below. Oh, please, Mera, my love, do as asked. It matters not. You need not mean it. You do not implore the minstrel to his toe. <laughs> <laughs> but the maiden wouldn't sing and her silence grew so loud they clamored to chastise her rose like thunder through the crowd okay it matters not to his toe is my wife a rabbit <laughs> A drinking shanty popular with rogues and pirates, responsible for the deaths of more pirates than the cows. <laughs> the waves may crash, the ship may sink, and every one of us might drown, but pirates call the sea the drink, so raise a glass as we go down. With thunder crabs we'll have a triple, and steal the fish king's pearly cup, with shapely mermaids wet our whistle, till top is down and bottoms up. <laughs> A lay that recounts the shameful actions of the mice during the War of the Green Flame. Oh, the mice did shameful actions? Only the rats continued to fight? Is this fake history? <laughs> or are the rats actually good? Also, this so reminds me of the battle. Uh, the treachery of men. In the battle against Morgoth. For fourteen days the emerald fire laid siege to royal Pesa spires. In the distance black smoke billowed as wheat fields burned like funeral pyres. The mice had sworn to hold the pass, vowed till their allies could amass. They would not waver from the fight, but courage failed them at the last. And so before the horde was laid, a goblet carved of finest jade, a tribute to the green flame's might, in hope its ire could be assuaged. assuaged. Oh, I like that word. But their treachery was all for naught. There was no bargain to be bought. The goblet was a poisoned cup, and from it sorrows flowed. That really reminds me of the Silmarillion. The trail of men <laughs> when the courage of men failed <laughs> that day. Many of the first kindred perished. The rats with two tails. <laughs> Nezumimata. <laughs> A ranxious lay recounting the misadventures of an over endowed rat in search of pleasure <laughs> naturally an imperial galleon set course for jacour with queen ariane of the badgers aboard uh, when two days from port in a terrible storm its mast broke in half and the mizen was torn but the vessel was saved by the rat with two tails, who stopped them from running around, aground on the shales by posting Her Majesty's knickers for sale. <laughs> the rat with two tails, oh, the rat with two tails. He saved Ariana from the terrible gales. He may not be a badger, but he's certainly male, <laughs> and she's not known to laugh till the rat with two tails. <laughs> <laughs> this is gorgeous. <laughs> so beautiful. Okay. 
A Murder of Crows. A satirical lay popular among mice living under the rule of the Red Paw. It asserts the theory that the group name for each kind of creature accurately reflects their true nature. <laughs> ah, yes. A murder of crows, a committee of vultures, or... <laughs> I found the true nature of creatures is shown in the name by which each is collectively known. I've heard wings of magpies and seen murders of crows, smelled the surfeite of skunks with a peg on my nose. But the mischief of mice who were masters of crows, and the sneaking of weasels who were tied on their foes. But the rats are the worst, as well everyone knows, cause the gathering of rats... Rats is a plague as it goes, and now that's off my chest, I have this to propose, that they're creatures of whom I suggest we dispose. Wow, mice propaganda. <laughs> the Gilded Warrior The last moments of the Battle of Berry Clave, immortalized in song, inspired by twelve heroes, the rat forces rally to at least a few to at last defeat the army of the green flame. The text is very small to read, by the way. And I've already moved my seat forward in order to use this new, new, quote unquote, <laughs> headset. And still hard to read. So how close do people usually sit to their screens to read these? I've, I've never understood. And so at last to Viola's pla plain, the Emerald Fire's army came. Their periclave sheer walls stood lined with the last of every living kind. Then from the ranks rode Dundle and Bold, astride the salamander, skin like gold. His courage stirred hearts, froze with dread, as un and anders went where the Yunlin led. Jarlan and Nikto joined the fight, black and white and blue as night, bathed in the bright abyss's light. Twelve rats faced down the green flame's might, then came the mighty clarion's call, and Dunlin, Jamron, Nito all did summon forth a hurricane that quenched at last that dire flame. And now, the Ballad of the Coward King. A lay recounting the final days of the reigns of King Roderick III, the last king of the rats, and who fled his kingdom on the eve of a great battle and was never seen again. Come here of Roderick I, the famous coward king, when all the way from Saltar's mines the ferrets came a charging. He cowered up to the highest tower as the warning bells at old. The glove was thrown, the moment come to show his true mettle. But yellow as brass was the coward king, and never quite as bold. On trembling shanks and soggy tail, he set sail quite unsettled. His subjects cried and called to him, but he left them to their sorrow, until his ship was sunk as stone, and he cowered down below. Either I completely read that wrong, or that didn't rhyme, but I guess it doesn't need to rhyme. Not all poetry or lays need to rhyme. Oh, <laughs> that's cute. <laughs> I don't know. I I would I would find the way the the, the handle is heart shaped to be quite unusual for a selkie. What you brought the mark Oh, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Are you serious? You do not allow me to use directional buttons. What is this? I can use them to move up and down. Why can't I use them to adjust the volume and stuff? It's just... Why? Okay, keep the music. Ambient sound. Oh, sound effects. Go back down. Audio. Up. 
that brightness, baby. I just said audio of that brightness. <laughs> There we go. Look at that. See how bright it is. You can see stuff. It cannot be over. Now the sound is really dull. Maybe I should just kept it where it was. Okay, I'll figure this out. <laughs> that probably took a lot longer than it takes most people because I. Yes, just so you know, I read everything. <laughs> take it, take it. You put a new candle on your candlestick. Touch it. Touch it. A cell manifest. <laughs> Name, Tilo. Profession, Minstrel. Offenses, acts of sedition. Well, that's. That's. I actually don't know what that means. <laughs> you have attracted the guard's attention. Quick, go to the chest and hold. Oh, to, to hide. Don't forget you can hide him in different places. Oh, crap. Oh, no. Oh my god, I don't know what left and right is. <laughs> I find it very disturbing that they're telling me to quick save and save menu when I'm hiding. Why did he leave the door closed? It's actually super weird. Sturdy branch, well balanced for throwing, breaks with a sharp crack, can be used to create a distraction or dislodge an item from its perch. I have a feeling I'm going to be very bad at this game. <laughs> I mean, I love Metal Gear Solid, but doesn't mean I'm good at it. <laughs> to throw, cycle through tools, equip, unequip. Hmm! <laughs> I 
Wall grain. Wait, what? Where did I get the sewer key? Oh no, wait, did he say? It's locked. <laughs> okay. I thought it said it's unlocked. You used the sewer key. <laughs> Where did I get a sewer key? Oh, there's someone there. Oh, darn it. Talk to you. <laughs> what are you? Friend or foe? Yeah. Oh, he's stuck in the gallows. Scratch your butt. Wee, slide down. I am treading lightly. Tread lightly and try not to wake the guard. You're only hurt. You're only hurt. Move slowly to make less noise. You're being seen, move quickly, break down line of sight. What's the... Oh. Well, that's going to be an annoying this difference. Mine. Wow, it's huge. Looks like a key to me. <laughs> ah, yes. I can see your tail is. <laughs> is that why it's called Ghost of a Tail? <laughs> An empty wine bottle hefty enough to knock out any guard without a helmet, if thrown with precision. Now, that's a lot of conditions to be met here. Can be used to create distraction or dislodge an item from its perch. Do. Please unequip that. going to be so happy when he wakes up and sees someone clean his mess. Come on. Stick everything. Hold it. 
We don't even have pockets for them. So. Oh, yes, he does notice. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Ooh. No, other button. swimmingly can you eat those greenies highly nutritious runs green For mice, grain is measured in sex and rascals. The amount of grain represented by a sex would be self confident It depends on how big the sack is. A rascal is the amount of grain a mouse can cram into their mouth while still being able to run 200 yards without pausing for breath. Yeah. Yellows. Right, so, burning stuff attracts attention. <laughs> I guess that makes sense. Well, it was worth a try. Take the bug. bug <laughs> I'm actually surprised that worked So who named these keys? <laughs> Did they change the name when the cell was suddenly flooded? So now it's the flooded cell key. The screaming door key. But we fixed the, those bolts. Screaming door. So it is an apple. Well, it's a screaming door. It's probably going to open. Oh, sure. He hears the crackling, but he doesn't wake up from the screaming door. How 
can you know it's empty if you haven't opened it yet? <laughs> oh god! Probably need to knock him out. Oh god, what did he do? I knew that was going to happen. Okay, but seriously, save menu. I haven't saved yet. <laughs> Splendid. Okay. Got it. Barf and Neil's guard death disorderly conduct. God damn it. No. Oh, are you kidding me? Oh god. <laughs> God doesn't. Oh God! Did you wake up? <laughs> I was sneaking. Oh, I forgot what that was. 
forgot I picked that up. What is that? Oh. <laughs> A fire starting kit. Representing the garrison cause of dwindling ideas of wrong to be used as a handkerchief. <laughs> the interior is coated with wax. I said that cut has been known to dissolve glass. Wow. Uh, I'm guessing it's not a drink then. Is it? <laughs> Did I... Did I come across? These items come back. Or... I mean, they did pick those up, didn't I? I didn't die. Okay. <laughs> Why was that bottle just... This is very weird. Is it supposed to do that? It doesn't feel like it's supposed to do that. Like infinitely spawning bottles. <laughs> okay, but seriously, did I come across? A cloth, a cloth. Did I come across? Can I not, like, talk? To that person? Wait. Controls. Interact. Oh, there's a map. <laughs> or not. Right, I clearly need that key. But the guard didn't have a key. You know, I'm getting very confused here. I'm 
we only just started. No, that was like yellow. I think it's important. <laughs> do you wake up if I touch you? Okay, you do. <laughs> so now we know. This is going to take a long time. Uh, yes, he does wake up when you touch him. <laughs> no touching. Did I check the door behind him? Or in front of him? I don't think so. Hey, hop! Mm-hmm. <laughs> 